We all have our favorite and least favorite episodes of The Brady Bunch, so it's no surprise that the cast does too. After decades of reruns, the cast has finally revealed which episodes they loved and which ones they hated. In this video, we're taking a look at the best and worst episodes according to the cast. Barry Williams' Picks there are many memorable episodes of the show's 117-episode run, and for Barry Williams, one of his favorite is the one that introduced us to the beloved family, the pilot. Barry, who played the oldest Brady son, Greg, says the series opener had a sense of innocence to it, which set the tone for the series, while the Brady Bunch cast was getting to know each other. The pilot, called Honeymoon, showed Mike and Carol Brady's wedding and honeymoon, where hijinks and hilarity ensued. Interestingly enough, the cat named Fluffy that was in the pilot episode is never seen again. However, Tiger the dog is a staple throughout the series. While Tiger continued to make appearances, he was actually played by three different dogs over the years. In addition to the pilot, Barry also enjoyed Past the Taboo, which aired in 1972. He's fond of this episode because he got to work with a tarantula. Another of his favorites is Adios, Johnny Bravo. In this episode, Greg becomes a rock star and gets arrogant and swollen-headed, only to learn he was signed by the agent for his looks, not his talent. On the flip side, an episode Barry called cringeworthy is one from season 5 called The Driver's Seat that aired in 1974. In this episode, Greg and Marsha compete in a boys versus girls style obstacle course to settle a debate about who's the better driver. The family watches Greg and Marsha as they smoothly drive in between orange cones, with Greg avoiding contact with every cone until he gets to the last one. He knocks the last one over, and Marsha is declared the winner. They agree that they're both safe drivers, and that's all that matters. Barry didn't think it was a believable storyline and wished the writers would have included some evil Knievel-type tricks. Mike Lookinland's Picks as for Mike Lookinland, who played the youngest brother, Bobby Brady, his favorite episode included a celebrity guest star. Joe Namath was an NFL legend who played for the New York Jets and appeared on the 1973 episode Mail Order Hero. In the episode, Bobby fakes being sick to meet Namath after Cindy sends him a letter requesting a meeting due to Bobby's illness. Clearly, Mike must have been just as starstruck to meet the player as his character was. He fondly described how quiet the set got when Namath made his entrance, and he had a wonderful experience acting alongside him for the episode. Mike didn't have the easiest time after the show, though, as he struggled with the fame of being a child star and almost succumbed to alcoholism. Like many other child actors in the biz, he never felt he got a real childhood or a chance to be a kid. In 1997, he totaled his Ford Bronco after driving home from work in Utah. His blood alcohol level was three times the legal limit. Luckily, he did eventually get help and became sober. Christopher Knight's Picks Christopher Knight, who played Peter Brady, had a unique experience with all the fame that came as a result of the Brady Bunch's success. He revealed his parents forced him into acting and that he too struggled with fame and being in Hollywood. He eventually quit acting to pursue his true passions. But he loved his experience filming the 1972 episode Past the Taboo. The cast spent much of their time in Honolulu during the filming of the episode, which centered around Peter finding a tiki idol during their trip. Peter thinks it's a good luck charm, but finds out the locals consider it to be a bad omen. This becomes more apparent after bad luck consistently befalls his siblings, who took turns handling the tiki idol named Taboo. His least favorite episode was 1972's Do Re Mi, as he felt very left out and isolated due to being the only Brady sibling not singing in it. He went as far as to say he hated the episode. In it, Peter is left out of the singing group because he's coming into puberty and his voice is cracking. Christopher thought the storyline revolved around finding a way to make sure he didn't sing during the episode, and he felt hurt by it. Soon after The Brady Bunch and its spin-offs, Christopher stopped acting and entered into the computer software industry, where he found success. He got involved in multiple business ventures, before later returning to acting to do a few small projects, one of which notably involved John Ritter. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like, and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And now back to more of the Brady Bunch cast's picks. Susan Olsen's picks. Susan Olsen played Cindy Brady, the youngest Brady sibling. One of her favorite episodes is 1973's The Subject Was Noses, mostly in part for her admiration of Maureen McCormick, who played Marsha. In the episode, Maureen had to get hit in the face with a ball, but never flinched or complained, which Susan was very impressed by. Another one of her favorites is Peter and the Wolf. 
In this episode, Greg convinces Peter to dress and act like an older guy so he could accompany Greg on a double date. She thought it was hilarious, particularly Peter's fake mustache, which then falls off during the date. Much like Christopher Knight, another top favorite of Susan's was Pass the Taboo. Eve Plum, who played middle sister Jan Brady, also said Pass the Taboo is her personal favorite. And who doesn't love a Hawaiian getaway with cast members you consider family? On the flip side, Susan found the second season episode, The Tattletale, particularly troublesome for her in real life. Her friends had a difficult time differentiating Susan from her character, Cindy. Because of this, they thought she was a real-life tattletale and isolated her in school. This was distressing for Susan, as she was so young at the time. This is the same reason she dislikes 1974's The Snooper Star. In the episode, Marsha catches Cindy reading her diary, which again leads to Susan's friends seeing her in a different light and shunning the young actress. Maureen McCormick's Picks As for Maureen McCormick, who played the oldest female sibling, Marsha, her favorite was also The Subject Was Noses. In it, Marsha gets dumped by her crush after she gets hit in the nose with a football and suffers a swollen nose. Maureen eventually became disenfranchised by the end of the show when she was an older teen. She believed it was too family-friendly by the end and wanted more mature and controversial storylines to be introduced. While the cast members were smoking, drinking, and generally maturing offset in their own ways, the siblings maintained their innocence on the show. To quietly assert her dislike for the lack of mature storylines, Maureen started taping episodes without wearing a bra. She even convinced Eve Plum to join in with her. It was a way to rebel, but without doing anything too obvious or dramatic. Her rebellion didn't last long, though. One of the show's producers quickly caught on and made it known it was unacceptable. Maureen revealed she's always struggled to come with terms with how many people look up to her. It took her a while, but she eventually came to peace with her character and came to love and accept Marsha Brady. Despite this, she says she never watches the show. She hates watching herself and finds it weird. And she dislikes watching the show because it reminds her of some somber memories attached to that time in her life. She developed a cocaine addiction and it cost her many opportunities. She did sober up, though, and has stayed that way for over 30 years. Now it's time to hear from you. Most of the cast agrees Past the Taboo was their favorite episode. What's yours? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.